Good evening, Philippines. This is Mike Padawan. We're back to our latest uh, update. This is for the weekend of May 6 to 8, 2023. And uh, this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Nara College Foundation, Typhoon Burden Center, Avenue Plaza Hotel, Aboitis Power, and Bank of the Philippine Islands. Let's begin with our update. Here's the uh, latest go set for today. Saturday and this is valid until Monday May 8th and we have the two weather systems low pressures 93W and 95W both of them is expected to dissipate within the next 24 to 48 hours and this one here to the left side 93W is still trying to uh, organize but it's uh, nearing uh, an area of uh, increasing upper level winds and uh, the mid-level circulation or the mid-level convection are still holding up uh, doing some uh, cloudy conditions with rain showers and thunderstorms across Palawan while its trough is affecting Mindanao, Western Visayas and uh, portions of Sulu Archipelago connected with 95W which is also uh, dissipating as of this time uh, they are now both uh, less than 35% of uh, becoming a tropical cyclone and uh, likely by tomorrow or Monday, these two will uh, eventually dissipate over the uh, West and East Philippine Seas. And so far, dry conditions with afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms will be expected all throughout the country for next week. No other LPs in sight. So hot and dry will continue with uh, increasing uh, heat index of 40 to 50 degrees centigrade. And uh, in the afternoon and evening, there are, are some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms since we are now moving into the middle of May. And uh, that's our latest graph set. Let's take a look at the uh, fast animation. So here we go. This is... Uh, Tropical disturbance uh, or LPA 93W moving towards the west with its mid level circulation still intact, moving across the Spratly Islands where the Kalayan Island group is located. And uh, the uh, other LPA here is devoid of any uh, convection or rain uh, bands, so this is likely to dissipate sooner than later. Now, here's the zoom in subtle animation, so you can clearly see here the uh, Still uh, surviving mid-level uh, circulation of LPA 93W during some thunderstorms across uh, portions of the Spratly Islands with its trough during uh, thunderstorms over Western Visayas, Sulu Archipelago, and portions of Mindanao. While all throughout the country it remained dry. But for next week, there might be some thunderstorms here across Luzon. And here's the uh, latest wind and ratio forecast from the European model from the windy.com uh, graphic uh, animation. So uh, tomorrow afternoon, Sunday, we expect LPA uh, 93W to slowly uh, dissipate and also um, 95W Monday afternoon. The Philippine Islands will be calm to variable winds. LPA 93W is no longer there, as well as uh, the few remnants of LPA 95W becoming a shallow LPA just to the west of Palau. Nothing to uh, uh, nothing to worry about. And on Tuesday, the uh, remnants of 95W still there, but it's no longer a threat to our country. And we have here a uh, northeasterly wind flow affecting extreme northern Luzon. So uh, some dry and fresher winds will be expected here. And uh, the, while the rest of the Philippine Islands will remain calm to variable uh, light winds in all directions. And that's the uh, forecast for the next three days from windy.com via the uh, European model ECMWF. Now, on the rain forecast for the next three days until Tuesday, tomorrow afternoon, we expect more thunderstorms to prevail across the Kalayan Island group, Palawan, Western Visayas, and uh, Central and Western Mindanao. 
This is mainly due to the uh, extension of the trough of LPA 93W, while over the mountainous areas of Cagayan Valley and Ilocos region, we expect afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms uh, will uh, again uh, provide some relief from the hot and warm weather. So expect uh, thunderstorms there. Watch out for lightning strikes and possible flooding in low-lying areas. And on Monday afternoon, we uh, expect continued uh, effects of localized thunderstorms in various sections of central and northern Luzon. That includes Metro Manila and some portions of the Bicol region. And on uh, Tuesday afternoon, we expect uh, another round of uh, local thunderstorms that will affect northern and central Luzon, including the uh, Calabarzon area, Metro Manila and also a smaller area so western visayas and bindoro so that will be the forecast for the next three days so folks living in uh, luzon watch out for thunderstorms and uh, this includes lightning and possible heavy rainfall that could produce some flooding in low-lying areas in various sections of luzon so watch out for that for next week possibly monday afternoon and tuesday afternoon so there you go, that's the latest for this uh, weekend of uh, May 6 to 8. And we will return next week to give you more updates on the weather from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Padua saying happy weekend to all, stay safe, and thank you so much for watching our channel.